you are Lee again, um, back at the virtual Benedetti sessions to give you another warm up before we start playing cello again. Um, so I hope you remember what we did last week and I hope you've been doing them every time you've sat down at the cello. Um, they're fun and um, let's just get straight in. I'm going to do a more of a recap on the, the physical warming up so that we can get on to some cello, cello warm ups. So don't forget we started with the grounding of the feet, nice circles with the ankles, both directions, both directions, and then nice big bottom circles, as wide as you can make them without moving your feet. And then there was the, yes, the elbow, shoulder circles, different directions, and then opening out, palms up, small circles forward, small circles back bigger circles forward, bigger circles back. And in fact, you could even open it out to the big wide circle like this and this one and backwards. Okay, and don't forget when we I was talking about when you're about to sit at your instrument and be in this position, we want to also do the opposite position. So the big five starfish, five pointed starfish and Five pointed starfish in both our hands, so just stretch out those hands. Nice big starfish. Oh, my hands look huge in this camera. This is great. And let's not forget the neck. So straight down, nice gentle movements, slow movements, breathing out and in, and then left out, in, out, in. And then a nice, very slow, gentle circle around. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, so I think we're ready. Let's sit down. And don't forget to stack up nicely. Feet underneath the knees. And then gently just rest down on the butt. No leaning back, no slouching. Nicely stacked, shoulders above, hips, head, neck super long. And head with a piece of string coming out. Nice hug for the cello before we get going. That's great. So I'm going to do a little bow exercise today. Um, in fact, we'll do the recap of um, Pekka's last week ones, which were um, the windscreen wiper, back and forth, making that lovely windmill noise, and then just the fingers. And you can maybe go forward and back maybe just with your fingers you can write the number of times you've practiced this week loads hundreds right loads of circles <laughs> the hundreds and yeah very good so and just yeah feel the weight of the bow and it's nicely controlled very good so actually what we're going to do is a little bowing exercise um let's do it on a scale and we're just going to repeat four times each note. So, G major. But what we're going to do is we're going to creep up the bow. So, like a bit like a caterpillar. See what I'm doing? Gradually moving. just gets you feeling nice and comfortable and keeping the same tone production the same amount of bow same sound all the way up and down your bow so you start feeling really comfortable wherever you are in the bow so you start feeling nice and comfortable at the point as you down here. so the more you can do that the better you can start speeding that one up and you can also do two octaves so all the way up to this uh, two octaves up on your C um, yeah, just mess around with that, and but always listen to the sound. It's um, sound first, um, and and just get used to that feeling of uh, feeling comfortable wherever you are in the bow. 
Now, one more exercise and like that that gets you feeling comfortable in the bow is another one that Pekka showed me, which is, um, it's the, I call it the one, three, two, four. It's a very inventive name. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we'll just start with open strings. So the idea is that you've got four points in the bow. This is one, this is three, so it's one, two, three, four. So it's spread into quarters, one, two, three, four. Um, but actually what we're going to do is going to be one, three, two, four. One, three, two, four. And we're going to start with it down, 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 down. So the way it works, you might be confused, stick with me. Uh, we're going to just do it on an open string. So it starts here with down to the third three. Very gentle lift. Two, gentle four and one two three four and then one two three four and then three two four and then the next time is going to be up so the same positions but on an up bow instead of a down bow, upward direction. So one, three, two, four. One, three, two, four. A bit faster each time. Three, two, four. One, three, two, four. It's a lovely exercise. You can do that with uh, different pieces, different studies that you're doing. Um, it's quite fun actually on a scale. This is where you meet left and right sides of the brain because we've got one, three, two, four here and your fingers are going one, two, three, four. So, oh, as such. So let's just try that. So we're starting, to, let's just do one octave scale on a G just to start. One, three, two, four. and faster and faster it's a great fun exercise so that should get you warmed up brain and uh, and body um, so I hope you enjoyed that we'll see you the next time <laughs>